Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll have a quick walkthrough uh, featuring Apache Gmeter non GUI mode. Uh, but before we start, why we may need a non GUI mode? Um, in my head now, I have two reasons. The first reason is if you are using an operating system without GUI, this may be Linux or Unix. In this case, you create your script, script uh, move it through FTP or SFTP, and then you, you execute your tests from the terminal. And the second reason is uh, to execute your tests with the least memory footprint. This will let will make your tests more stable and also will help you generate more virtual users as you are using small amount of the of mem of the available memory. Uh, enough talking. Let's get started. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm I'm going to open Gmeter in a GUI mode and then create simple. Uh, simple project, so we can use it uh, later from the terminal. Yeah, we execute it from the terminal. Okay, let's create thread group, and then we can from sampler select HTTP requests. We can hit uh, the YouTube homepage. We can change the name to YouTube homepage. Uh, now we have our script is ready. Let's make some changes to the thread group. We can run with five users. We can ramp up one user each two seconds, so we can ramp all of them in 10 seconds. We are having a finite loop to be able to run for a duration. In the duration, we can have it as uh, 80 seconds. In this case, it's one minute and 20 seconds. Uh, after that, we should save the project. So I'll save test the plan as. Um, I will try to, to save this in the inside the bin folder. So we want downloads. And from downloads, we want Gmeter 5.4. This one is Gmeter 5.4, yes. OK, and inside Ben, let's name this as uh, YouTube Sim Simple. project and save. Now we have uh, a project, a Gmeter project saved inside the bin folder. What we want to do now is to navigate to the bin folder to be able to start uh, to invoke the non-GUI, Gmeter non-GUI from, from the terminal. Uh, the the non-GUI commands are the same across uh, operating systems. I will leave both Windows and Mac commands in the description uh, box below. So, okay, now let's close this. Yes, I saved it already. And close this one. Let's open the terminal. And I will do this cd dash, cd space, and I can drag this here. Now we are in the build folder to check ls that we have everything. And also we should find, uh, yes, this is our project, YouTube Gmeter project, as uh, YouTube underscore simple project or GMX. Okay, to start or to run non-GUI mode, we have to do Gmeter first, then minus N, non, and minus N is for non-GUI, then minus T for test script, and then we should uh, name our test. YouTube underscore. Simple project. Uh, I think the project here is uh, .gmx. Uh, oh, sorry. SH space G meters minus N minus T V cube plus four simple. Project documents. Uh, 
now it's started. What you can see here is uh, every 15 to 20 seconds, but this number may be, may be not that accurate. You will find an aggregation for the, for the test you have. So as you can see here, uh, we have uh, average of uh, 1.8 seconds, minimum 4, 9, 429 millisecond and maximum for 6.1 seconds and active threats are five and we don't have errors, it's zero errors. Okay, now the test is ended. Yeah, as you can see, we have multiple uh, aggregation till the test is complete. As, and, and again, you have the average minimum and the maximum of response time and the error percentage, which is zero here, but you don't, we don't have here any uh, more uh, details. We don't have the, the, the request names. If you have multiple requests, uh, you, you can find them. You can get the, the total data or the aggregated data as, as this is what it is. The point here is after the test is finished, uh, yes, we executed the test, but we don't have uh, a results data. We don't have a file which contains the, the test results. If I cleared the, the terminal, then everything is gone. We, do, we don't have any data for this run. To be able to do this, let's clear the, the terminal now. We are using the same, uh, we're going to use the same previous uh, request, but after the project name, we will type minus L, this is for logs, and then I will specify uh, a log file. We can name it YouTube run log dot JTL, and this is the extension we are going to use. In this case, we will we are going to repeat the same test, but in this time, the the results will be written to the this file, the GTL file. When I start the test. Uh, you can see that in the bin folder, we can find, uh, yes, YouTube run log the GTN. This file is created right now. So when repeating the tests, this time the difference that we will have uh, a file, a GTL file includes all the test results, the, the test run results. Okay, now the test is done. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I will close the terminal and open Gmeter in the, the UI as we do in the beginning, as we did in the beginning. Okay, now I want to check if the, uh, if the GTL file uh, I, was, ex, uh, was created that, that's working properly. I will add only thread group and then I will choose one of the listeners. Maybe I can use the summary report. If I browse to, if I browse to the, um, to the bin folder, so let's do downloads. Uh, Gmeter 5.4, bin, then yes, YouTube run log. As you can see here, we have the uh, results for this uh, for this run, the label, this is our request name uh, in the, the project we were using, the number of requests or sample, uh, samples, the average, the minimum, the maximum, the error percent and everything. Not only this, I can use the, this GTL file to generate an HTML report from so from um, from tools. Uh, from tools, you can uh, check generate HTML report the GTL file. I will should navigate should navigate again to uh -uh, sorry. Okay, in the bin folder, I can check the the GTL file we just created. And then I should choose the, the Gmeter properties, which in the side inside the bin folder as well. And the last thing is uh, the output directory can go to the desktop. Yes, and then I can I can create a new folder or use the uh, the, the old folder. Let's create a new folder for it uh, results. Yeah, and then yes, then we have the results file or the GTL file, the user properties for Gmeter and the output directory. Then I will generate the report. Now report is created. If I open this the results folder and open the index, 
now we have um, a HTML report um, extracted from the GTL file we were using from through the non-GUI mode. So this is not that difference between running from UI through the UI of or without, but the point is, as I said, you may need to do this in an, an operating system without a UI and also this can help you generate more virtual users. That's for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.